everyone. Come with me on a 10-day cruise to Alaska. We will start off in San Francisco on Ruby Princess and I will show you how I spend my days traveling the world and singing jazz every evening. You will find out what happens if there's a medical emergency on the ship. You will see a lot of whales, you will hear my rants about the bad weather and my excitement about the absolutely amazing nature and gorgeous views. So come along. We are in San Francisco Cruise Terminal Bay 27 and as you can see there is a, a queue over there, people are waiting for their security check, they are repacking their luggage in the last minute, minute. and it's the busiest day for entire crew or for entire ship, it's the day when the passengers, um, when there's a changeover of the passengers. I have about three hours to spend in San Francisco. I actually don't have that much time. I have a list of things to do as always. Um, so hopefully I'll be on time before the ship leaves. Day two and three of this cruise are the sea days. So we are just in the open waters, hoping that the water is not too rocky and that the passengers can enjoy themselves on the upper pool decks. Yesterday was kind of exciting since we had a medical emergency on the ship and had to change the course while a medical helicopter had to collect a passenger. So all the open decks were closed due to the safety and a lack of visibility for about 2-3 hours. The whole thing lasted about 15 minutes and it was absolutely incredible to watch these technological human inventions in action. But today I will show you the tour of the ship. Let's start on the lower deck 4 and come all the way up. Deck 5, 6 and 7 have the most of the entertainment such as restaurants, theatre, casino, all sorts of cafes, etc. And then on the upper decks we have pools with cinema screens, fitness and spa center bars and the biggest cafe which is called The Horizon. So this is our first day in Alaska. We have arrived into a small town called Ketchikan. And it's one of the five ports that we are going to visit. Um, so we had two sea days, then we're going to visit five ports, and then we're going to have another two sea days, and we are going to return to San Francisco. This is our ship, you can see here. Um, the town is really nice, and uh, actually there's not much to do as you get off the boat. So you have to sign up for all sorts of excursions, um, either in the town or on the boat if you're a passenger. Weather is just absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. The air is so clean and it kind of smells a little bit of, of the sea water. But I'm wearing a lot of sunscreen because the sun here is so intense even though it's uh, you know it's quite up in the north. I forgot my sunglasses unfortunately. You have to have you know a lot of sun protection here and just be wary because uh, yeah it's uh, the, the weather and, and the nature can be a little bit unapologetic in that sense. I'm gonna head off to, to the village, maybe grab a, a little cup of coffee. Um, I've been just looking at some of the jewelry here and uh, one of the things that I really loved is the original to Alaska the quartz with the with the little uh, bits of gold in it it's uh, found naturally here and instead of extracting the gold they've just decided to keep it there and it's this kind of beautiful um, beautiful little design and, and, and very beautiful um, 
stone in fact and then they make all sorts of jewelries here and also some other things that you can find here are like mammoth tooth and obviously ivory um, so yeah I'm gonna look around and maybe I'll find something that I like Juneau is the capital of Alaska and is one of the largest cities for tourists to visit. As other Alaskan towns, it is full with jewelry shops and all sorts of touristic souvenir shops. What interests me today is actually a whale watching excursion. It costs about $150 and lasts around three and a half hours, from which two hours I spent on the boat. We were super lucky as we have seen a bubble net feeding today. It is a group of whales hunting together and you can see them breathing one by one on the footage. Hi everyone, we are in Skagway. We have just arrived and I have uh, back on the land. I'm actually not sure what the plan for the day is going to be like. Um, the weather is not as exciting as yesterday. It is quite warm, but it's not very sunny and the clouds around are very low. So I expect this to be actually a pretty nice day where you don't get too hot. I hope there are a few nice places to just sit and eat over here because both in Juno and in Ketchikan surprisingly there were just too many jewelry stores and not enough just places to you know to have some food despite all the fishing that's going on there were just only two uh, two restaurants that were open I don't know why the, is this like that I heard that um, there's a lady that owns most of the property in those two two towns so she wouldn't allow any sort of other businesses to expand because she herself holds a restaurant, so she doesn't want any competition. Well, which is really weird for me, you know, if there's a demand clearly because there are a lot of tu tourists coming during the summer season. So I'm just gonna show you around quickly. There's a beautiful view over there. Okay, so we are in the middle of the town and this is some kind of a little um, train attraction happening here. Um, as you can see, people are getting off the train and getting on the train. Apparently, this train takes about three hours and it goes all the way around. Um, but unfortunately, you have to obviously pre-book it and there are no more tickets left for today so I am not taking it. Um, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty retro. Um, I am sure it's a lot of fun. But now it's just standing here in the middle of, of, of the of the street and nobody really can pass by. Um, yeah so this is our ship over there. You can see beautiful clouds, nice sunny day. So I assume this is actually the old train that they used to have back in the days and it's just here for the display uh, i wonder how oh, we can't look inside but wouldn't be kind of cool looks very retro very fun i need to i need to ask more questions to the people who work here it would be nice to know which which year sort of is it from probably the beginning of the century or something like that it's pretty cool
Well, hello, hello. This is day seven of our wonderful trip to Alaska. And as you can see, the weather is just dreadful today. In fact, at 7 a.m., uh, there was an announcement made by the captain saying that instead of doing a scenic cruising um, and just seeing all the wonderful islands around, we are not going to go there because, uh, well, as far as I understand, that little channel is quite narrow and requires really good navigation. But because the visibility was literally zero, we were like covered in, a, in an eternal cloud. Um, all the ships that have been scheduled to go that route, they have canceled their plans. And instead of that, we're just sort of slowly heading towards our next port, which is tomorrow in Canada, Prince Rupert. And um, yeah, which is sad, but this is what, what we have to do because um, it, it can be quite dangerous and there are pieces of ice literally floating on the water. So obviously, you know, safety comes first. And uh, it's so cold today, it's just unbelievable. I think it's, it should be about 10 degrees or something. And I'm thinking how lucky we were um, in Juneau and in Ketchikan that the weather was so nice that I could just wear a t-shirt and nothing more. Today is, I would say, like a, a boring sea day and all the passengers are obviously inside. Um, there's nothing, <laughs> nothing going on, really quiet. And uh, all morning I was just, you know, working on, on laptop, updating the repertoire, updating my lyrics file and uh, just doing you know, some updates for, for everything. And we're going to play a set, uh, two sets today, um, finish before eight. So that's nice and early in my opinion. I actually prefer the earlier sets. And, um, and afterwards, I'm going to try to do some more work because I'm, I have internet today <laughs> and I want to finish um, some of the things that I've been promising to finish uh, to various people. Yeah, so today is a, is a quiet day, I guess, but you know, this is, this is what you get. What I am worried about is that today is 1st of August and this, is, this kind of weather is on the 1st of August. And Frankly speaking, I do not want to think about what's going to happen, you know, at the end of, of September when we're going to be finishing this contract. I have heard that, you know, the, the, the weather here can change like this and there is absolutely nothing that you can do. But I just somehow hope that we will be blessed with more sunny days. When, um, well, uh, San Francisco is going to be nice and warm. It's going to be warmer than 20 degrees, but it's also windy. So, uh, well, I still hope to get a little bit of sunshine this summer. If not, well, I'll just have to go to Thailand for the winter. <laughs> That's what I've decided. It is definitely much more busy inside. Uh, as you can hear, the music's playing and people are having cocktails. And uh, everyone is trying to escape the cold, cold <laughs> weather. So something I wanted to show you, every ship has like a little jewelry store and we've been so lucky that we are actually being allowed to uh, take stuff and wear it on our performances, model all sorts of, uh, you know, necklaces and, uh, and earrings and some of the designs are really, really, really nice and the stuff is obviously very helpful and, uh, you know, we don't have to uh, advertise but uh, it looks so nice that um, even without any effort people just asking <laughs> where do we get the stuff from so really cool so we are in Canada today this is a small port called Prince Albert. and finally the weather is so so much better I mean I'm still wearing a jumper because you just never know when you're in Alaska sorry not in Alaska I want to go to the shop buy some things and later I want to go to the museum um, the morning has been pretty hectic I was on a zoom call and I have actually missed the crew drill I'm not sure if I'm gonna get in trouble for that or not I hope not but I somehow didn't register that I have to go to one so uh, yeah I need to get in touch with my manager to see if I'm gonna get any disciplinary action for that I'm gonna show you the town a little bit but actually so far all these little fishing villages are pretty similar so they all offer you know local tours such as uh, whale watching some fishing some hiking but other than that they are all yeah pretty pretty the same i think the biggest uh, the biggest town would be juno and uh, we are we were staying in juno for the longest 
just so that people can get the most out of their time and attend the most excursions. The most interesting excursion was actually dog slaying. Sl yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce it really. But uh, they were they were taking helicopter to go onto the glacier, and then there was like a, a, a dog's camp. So and they were riding around with these dogs with a husky. So I'm going to be driving this sled. There it is. Don't leave it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Right, so we are actually at a Canadian store, regular store where you can buy all sorts of things, some foods, vegetables. I need to get a toothpaste and later I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. And I actually don't have so much time to, to visit the museum because we have to be back in like in an hour or two. Those four days are actually really short and you have to plan your time really well if you want to do something extra. All right, so we are in the Indigenous Art Museum. And over here, you can see the building. It's actually really nice, all made out of wood. Uh, let's have a look. What do they have as an exhibition? So today is our last day before we return back to San Francisco and we have just finished performing and actually these last few uh, sea days were really really busy and I actually felt a little bit almost like ill because we've just been running around and we've been told we have to move the cabin and just all sorts of things and, and paperwork and contacting the agent because we obviously weren't happy about that. Oh, but that's okay, and tomorrow I have a, a big plan for, you know, being in San Francisco. I booked a massage, I need to get some coffee, <laughs> I need to buy some makeup and uh, some things, uh, you know, other than that. So I'm actually really looking forward to being in a, in a big city a little bit. Um, yeah, this whole sort of crew has been a little bit strange because because of the weather, I think it's just my mind cannot really adjust that we are constantly shifting between uh, really nice summer summer weather and some of like really cold winds when we go back north. But what was super exciting is that yesterday as we were um, having dinner, we saw so many whales. It was unbelievable. You could actually see them breathing and you could see the tail and they were like in, in pairs. You know, just everywhere. It was so nice, so lovely. Well, I'm thinking like, well, I shouldn't have booked that excursion that I did the other day. Because you can just see them <laughs> like this. And also what was great when we were in uh, in, Can in Canada, in Prince Rupert Court, I saw an eagle, like that big, big eagle with a, you know, a yellow beak and a white head and huge gray wings. It was so, it was so amazing. It was such a beautiful bird and it was flying so slowly, it was just next to the ship and all the seagulls looked so, so tiny and unimportant. So that was really like a highlight actually of, of this trip is that I saw an eagle for the, for the first time. Super! Well I hope you have enjoyed this short trip to Alaska with me. I think working as a musician can sometimes feel like a long holiday or a long adventure. Um, but at this point, I think I begin to miss just simple, ordinary things such as being able to cook my own food, you know, being able to have a bath or even having some more space to myself in my cabin where I live. But overall, I think it is, um, it's an easy lifestyle and you meet a lot of people and uh, you see a lot of places that you, you know, might never see again in your life. 
So I think the world is your oyster anywhere you go, really. <laughs>